that AEW is apparently selling tickets faster in WWE in some markets. So WWE and AEW are set to go back on the road next month. AEW's first show outside of Jacksonville is scheduled for July 7th in Miami, while the WWE uh, first main roster event uh, is going to be a July 16th edition of Friday Night SmackDown. Both companies plan to remain on the road uh, for the for the foreseeable future. Basically, no more pandemic shows, so that's a good thing. Uh, WWE's resumption of the tour could be a bad sign, though, for the company, as Dave Meltzer reported that the company's ticket sales are scary bad in some markets and below AEW as far as the pre-sale basis. WWE has sold 2,000 tickets so far in a lot of the venues they're running, and they're running venues that have at least like 10,000 places, like uh, seats. So that's not a good sign for those places. Both WWE and AEW are running Charlotte, uh, Charlotte, North Carolina, Jacksonville, Florida, Dallas, Texas, and Miami, Florida markets. WWE is performing well in the Dallas market, which is expected, but AEW is actually ahead of them in Charlotte and Miami. Neither company seems to be doing too well um, in uh, in, mar in markets outside of that. But AEW is currently also ahead in Jacksonville, which I think we all expect because that's their home uh, base. It's also worth to note that under the circumstances, uh, you know, AEW are obviously running some smaller arenas uh, as far as capacity than WWE, but it's all proportional. So proportionally, right. AEW is actually outselling um, WWE and in some cases actually selling more tickets altogether. Uh, but again, this is a scary sign for WWE. You know, we saw this before the pandemic. We saw a lot of scary bras where like they had a 10,000 seat arena where they only sold like 5,000 tickets, you know, it was before the pandemic that that was the case. So why do we think we're seeing it happen? And should WWE be concerned? Um, from what I remember, the, uh, the it could be just the, the uh, fact that the tickets are too, too expensive, honestly. It, it may not be like the product or anything like that. It might just be that the, the tickets are too expensive, which makes makes sense. But, I mean, I don't know, man. I mean, it's, it's one of those things where, like, yes, uh, WWE is the, um, you know, the dominant company. It should be because they've been around longer. But AEW is just so... New, uh, so nuanced right now, you know. It's just it's it's like the flavor of the week, you know. What I mean, like, and most more people are starting to check it out and they're starting to get more interested in it because I think you said this once before, maybe last week. It has that that indie promotion feel with a with with a pro promotion. You know what I'm saying? It it, it feels like it's the king. Uh, like, I, I think what I said was it was the king of the indies. And exactly. it, it's showcasing, and, and but it's showcasing it on the biggest stage. Exactly, it, it's a pro promotion with an indie feel, and and and, and that's for true rest, wrestling fans. That, that 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 sells it. Like I know a lot of wrestling fans that watch uh, WWE, but mainly are indie indie uh, watchers. That's all they watch. That's all they, they 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 indie chase. They go to in, different indie shows and stuff like that, and will never buy a ticket to a WWE. Uh, main event. I mean, because that's just what they don't do. But I mean, it could be it could be a sign of something scary. But I say keep an eye on it. I don't. I don't know. I don't believe it's the it's the end of times. You know what I mean? I think it's just just we're, we're coming out of a pandemic. You know what I mean? I, I think it's just that honestly. Yeah. So generally, for both shows, like I, I think there's going to be some there's going to be some like you know maybe a period of time where ticket sales are low. And uh, be just because we're trying to get back into the groove of things, I do think things like you know, not so much SummerSlam because they're trying to sell out like a, a stadium, but uh, you know, all out for AEW. Whenever tickets go on sale for all out, that's gonna sell out fairly quickly. Uh, the, the Chicago market's pretty good for them. Um, as far as the other markets though go, uh, I do think for the time being, like WWE should be concerned. D like like WWE, I think because. Here's the thing. This was a problem for them before the pandemic. This is not like, you know, oh, well, the pandemic happened. Like, they, Yeah, sure. Let's give it a few months. But if WWE are still, like, harping off 
multiple sections for Raw and parping off multiple sections for pay-per-views like they were in 2019. This was a big thing. Remember, they did a pay-per-view with Becky Lynch and Seth Rollins in the main event. They did a pay-per-view they match, sure did, yeah. and, and, they were, and there were 4,000 people there. It, yep. in, and that is not a good sign for them. So I think that WWE, like, like they need to be careful. Like, like if there's any company that needs to be careful, it's WWE. I think AEW, they have the benefit of being that new product, like you said. They have the benefit of being, uh, of, of those crowds, I think, are just going to make a, or those AEW shows more attractive. Like, those fans are going to be like, wow, look at these crowds. I want to be a part of this. Because AEW crowds are insane. And the talent right. is insane. And it's new and it's fresh and you haven't seen it. Like, there's only so many times you can go see Brock Lesnar uh, and pay money to see Brock Lesnar. But maybe some people want to go see, pay money to see uh, Darby Allen. Maybe some people want to go see Kenny Omega, which they, who they've never seen wrestle live. So they offer a lot more in that a draw, respect. You know? A lot of draw power. And other than that, I think for AEW, one thing that they should focus on more, though, uh, is kind of being that more, um, you know, sending a more, like, attractive vibe to the fans. But, you know, what do you think WWE specifically can do to create a higher demand for their product? Well, I think, one, make more matches that people want to see. You know what I mean? Like, we were talking about the uh, Hell in a Cell card earlier, and honestly, out of that, that card, we really cared about maybe two matches. You know what I mean? Like, you can't have a card with five matches and, like, two of those five people want to come see, you know, you, it, and I also think it has, it is due to booking. It's also due to the product they show on TV. Like if this product, if, if I'm going to pay money to see this product, it's got to be better than this, you know, like now I think uh, the ticket sales for uh, SmackDown will probably be astronomical at, you know, at once SmackDown starts touring and things, but I, I, um, I don't know, like, it's, I think the fact that Raw is is tanking so bad and the fact that NXT is kind of putting out pay-per-views is what we were talking about earlier. I think the fact that their product isn't top-notch like it was before is, is, is failing them a little bit. So I think they need to step up their matches. Step up step up what, what has brought you to the big show. You know what I mean? But- by by step up what brought you to the big show? Do you mean like signing the big show and having him turn heel again? I hope I hope not. God, I can you imagine? It's like first this, off, this don't put the, terrible the, words in my mouth. <laughs> it's like what what's gonna say? What's gonna save wrestling in twenty twenty one? Well, <laughs> another heel turn. Don't do it. Please, Don't do for it God's all. sakes. Thanks for watching this video from Real Take Sports Talk. Remember to like, share, subscribe, hit that notification bell so you get notified whenever a new video is released. Also remember to check out our live show every single Thursday at 8 p.m. right here on the YouTube channel. And remember, keep it real.